I'm standing in front of some classic artwork to begin the show this time. Uh, not your typical painting. No, this is uh, about 700 years old and it's painted on a cliff face. The Sandbush people, who lived in this part of southern Africa as far back as 7,000 years ago, created these rock art masterpieces. Their favorite subject matter, the same wildlife that still roams the land here. Also, we've got a depiction of a wild dog here, or what we assume is a wild dog. The reason why we think that you can see the big bat-like ears, uh, the small frame, thin legs, all sort of points to, to what wild dog are all about. Brad Fourche, a ranger and guide at Sengita's Pamashama Lodge in Zimbabwe, took me to see some of the rock paintings, which have been found at more than 80 different locations in the Malalangwe Wildlife Reserve. Only the most spiritual leaders in, in the little village were the painters. And these guys were responsible for taking the younger generation, particularly the men, under their wings and teaching them how to go into trances. Now the reason why I bring up trances is that everything you see here is about what happens in the trance. Now your sand bushmen had different power animals that they absorbed power from when they came here for spiritual healing or whatever the case may be. So I see a giraffe That's right. right behind where we're staying, uh, standing. Uh, I've seen elephants. In fact, I saw two bush people painted themselves hanging onto the tail of an elephant. That's right, yeah. Huh. What was that about? Well, <laughs> They were know, just along for the ride? You know, that was their sort of um, spiritual way of, of, of uh, uh, healing themselves or asking for confidence or whatever they needed at the time. Not only does Brad show me ancient rock art paintings, but he also takes me out to meet some of Africa's living animals. So tune in this week to my radio show, National Geographic Weekend, to hear the story of Pamashama's rock art and to find out how we survive a rhino charge.